How can I use modules in my application on the controller? We've got a project with a PFC100 controller and on my desk I've got the PFC100 starter kit. So we've got a power supply, then the PFC100 with a supply module, then a two-channel digital input which is connected to two switches, a two-channel digital output module and an end module. Now to add these modules to our controller in the project, we double click the controller and get into the KBus view. Here we can see an empty KBus currently and there's two ways of adding the modules to the controller. One is manually by adding the modules from the product catalog and one is scanning the controller if you already have it on your desk. So if we go into the product catalog first, we can now search for the article numbers. And this is handy because you can already start programming if you don't have the controller on your desk yet. So we add the 602, the 400, two-channel digital input, and now also the 501, the two-channel digital output module. Now the KBus is matching the one on my desk and I could continue. I also want to show the other way though, so I will delete what I just added and uh, we go into the device tab and do a scan. You need to have an IP address already configured so you can connect to the controller and it's now scanning and showing me that it has two modules on the KBus. You say apply all. Notice here that it didn't add the 602 because this is not necessary because it doesn't add any function to the KBus. It is just given the power to the context for the other two modules. So it also can't find it. So the 602 is optional to add it to the KBus. Now to continue, we just select a module and we need to add a mapping for a module. So I click on a little plus here and we can see the two channels this module has. It already has two addresses, which we could already use to be able to communicate with the module. But this is not very handy because the addresses might change if you add or remove modules from your KBus. So instead, we go to the variable list here and say that this is the XDI1 and XDI2 for a name. And we do the same for the digital output module here. So XDO1 and XDO2. And now we've got those names defined. And whenever we want to work with our in and outputs now, we can use the names instead of having to play around with the addresses. So if we go to the program view, we can see that uh, there's already the project here with a PSC PRG, which is currently empty. Uh, you can do this in any language, so this is structured text, but I will go more into depth with the languages in the next video. But in any language you can press F2 to get a list of the variables that you can use. So we here have the IO config global mapping and we can see the variables which we just defined. So I will use the XD01 and then say that this should be equal to, again F2 to get into this view, XDI1 and then we can just connect to our controller. Of course we want to write the application and then we have to start it. And now we can see if we change the first switch here. So give the input one, we will also get the output one as true.